This is Twit. Yeah, so Microsoft released a, um, last week, I think, the list of what they're cutting out of the Edge browser. ActiveX, VBScript, not surprising. Um, My two favorite uh, all, technologies of all time, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, but there are a lot yeah, of internet. I wrote books about this stuff. Yeah, and yeah. there are a lot of IT departments uh, who need it. Or right, use it. right. Yeah. Um, Silver, Silverlight was not listed on this oh. list of things, Silverlight plugins, but I believe those are on that list yeah, as well. they got to be, right? Um, although Windows then people, Media Center. Well, yeah, <laughs> they didn't even bother to put that on. Oh, no, list. no. This, so this is all just stuff cutting out of the browser. They said 20, 220,000 lines of code have been cut, um, in their rendering engine, <clears throat> MSHTML. Wow. How big is, how many lines of code is, uh, that edge? is a good question. I do not know. Google well, did, Google yeah. did that. Um, that's why they forked WebKit. To make mm -hmm. Blink, and what they took out was all all the legacy support, yeah. And it turned yep. out to be millions of lines of code. It was a huge right. amount of uh, the code was just legacy support. Well, Microsoft did this too, right? They forked MSHTML, the rendering engine, which is Trident, and then they created this Edge uh, rendering engine. So that's also a very distant fork of Trident, but right. still a fork. Right. Clean it's yeah. it's clean it up. Time to clean it up. Yep. But then they also published a list of what. Um, is coming to Edge that was also interesting. They had things like object RTC, pointer lock, more Cortana scenarios, and they mentioned officially extensions. Um, they've been they've said this a couple times that they're going to support extensions in Edge, not right when it ships originally, but it will be coming. And they also said they've already they already know they're going to have extensions for Skype, Reddit, and Pinterest. Um, so they're already working with developers on extensions, obviously if they can name names. So yeah, they're, they're doing a lot of work. They've got a nice new blog. Um, what is the name of this blog? I forget. Is, they've got, do you remember Paul's the new blog? The Edge of The Edge Night. blog? I'm, I actually don't know. About yeah, the they blog. have this new blog, um, Edge Dev Blog, Microsoft's Edge Dev Blog. And this is where they talk about the stuff they're doing from a, a more of a developer perspective. But they've been doing a lot of really good posts now that Edge is more public um, about what they're doing uh, in, under the covers with the browser. Pretty interesting if you're a developer. By the way, if you search for Edge blog, yeah. you're not going to find this blog. No, no. search for Edge <laughs> dev blog. Yeah. That's what you need to search for. There's a lot of stuff out there. Yeah. It has nothing to do with it. So if, you're, yeah. if you care about this, this is a good place because this is where they announce yep. what's what's going on. Yeah. Good. They're going to do yep. ECMA 6, ECMA, ECMA Scripts 6. That's yep. the latest, uh, newest Java. This is good. Yeah. Vorlon.js. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> great stuff. I think they were one of the enemies in the Star Trek TV series. <laughs> Vorlon. Wow. Yep. Vorlon Neat. is this um, new debugger that they've built for JavaScript. Microsoft built this. And um, it's built on top of TypeScript. So, yeah, they're doing a lot of really kind of, I, I guess, stuff I would say that people in the developer community maybe never thought they would do. But it's a new Microsoft, guys. We say that a lot on the show. It's a new Microsoft. It's a new yeah, one. It's one I don't know if we have anything else on Edge, do you? Oh, you mentioned, um, I didn't understand this post that well, but maybe you do. Media capture functionality being integrated into, um, into directly into Edge. That was an announcement today, I think. When what they say that? media capture, they mean like I can no, go to I, YouTube I, I and download take it to a video? That, no. um, I didn't really look at this too closely, but I, I yeah. thought this was related to the ability of a website to protect digital content from it's the first announcement on that blog if you uh yeah Ma, let's yeah. read more shall we <laughs> yes let's read? read it online yeah why not do a show <laughs> well here i'll just read it out loud and you guys can tell me <laughs> yeah and then we'll sort of figure it out as yes. you go the media Thank capture you, functionality in microsoft <laughs> edge uh it's based on the w3c media capture and stream spec uh facebook does it so it gives you uh, it sounds like sounds like the, maybe the instant play video on facebook get user media method call takes media stream constraints as an input which mm -hmm. device uh, yeah i don't think oh no capture uh, require capture devices and captured media streams such as camera facing mode video resolution so this has to do with uh, using a, a, a camera a webcam um Interesting. Yeah. Huh. 
They're doing, they're definitely, yeah, this photo, is an understatement. Photo okay. capture using a webcam. So the ability yeah. to, for instance, use your webcam to add a photo to your Facebook, that kind okay. of thing. Uh, yeah. Capture device settings. Yeah, it's not, it's not the other way around, saving yeah. video from a website. Yeah. It's, it's for, uh, a, it's for what, it's, Flash right? does this, right? I mean, right now, if you want to, uh, capture it. You would use Flash. Google does it uh, with WebRTC and uh, Hangouts. <laughs> it'll it'll ask permission. It'll say allow your camera to be accessed by the website, mm -hmm. and you say yes. And then so that makes this is good. Yeah. And this is based on the spec, which is what you want. W3C yep. spec. I was going to say that's a that's the thing. More mm -hmm. and more, you see Microsoft doing things with the standards community, leading the standards. Even it's just a very different. Yeah. place because in the old world of course <laughs> ie was known as the and the enemy of the standards so right? the, the blog Leaving post the gives standards. two examples which is capturing a photo from a built-in camera capturing audio from a microphone yeah. so it's very much what you know flash does right now or something like that recording uh recording things yeah yeah okay